Living organisms demonstrate a range of complex features and using a systematic approach known as taxonomy, we can arrange them based on morphological features or by their DNA. All living things belong to one of the five kingdoms, which are the animal, plant, fungi, protocystia, or otherwise known as the single-celled organisms, and the kingdom of the bacteria. Then, organisms are sorted and separated into the following taxonomic categories. Phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. King prawn curry, or fried green spinach, is a monomic that can help us remember the hierarchical system in which we organise all living things on Earth. You need to learn the five kingdoms and be aware of the terms vertebrates, which are organisms which have a backbone, and invertebrates, which are organisms which have no backbone. Regarding plants, you need to be aware that there are non-flowering plants, such as the mosses and ferns, and flowering plants, which produce flowers, such as sunflowers and daffodils. It is also an idea to be generally aware of the differences between mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, etc. Watching nature documentaries can help with this. You may notice that in this example, we have the blue whale, but instead of calling it the blue whale, biologists would use the Latin-based scientific name Balaenoptera musculus. Biologists do this because it avoids confusion by avoiding using local or common names which vary from language to language. An English speaker, for example, would not know what a Morville glass is, so if all the biologists, when writing a scientific paper, use the scientific Latin name, there is no confusion as to what species is being discussed in the paper. Taking a closer look at the scientific naming structure, we can see that we combine the genus and species category to name the organism. Notice we capitalise the genus and use a lowercase to start the species part of the scientific name. We also write it in italics, or you can underline the word to show that you understand the scientific name must be written in this style and format, as it is difficult to actually write in italics without using a computer. You must do this if asked to write the scientific name of an organism in your exam. Don't worry though, you will always be given the information needed to answer the question. Just make sure you follow the style and format and select the genus and species when forming the scientific name. In the next video, we will look at biodiversity, competition and biological control.